Microbiology can't be used comprehensively for all food safety threats. There's plenty of non-pathogen threats that include allergens, genetically modified food content, the authenticity of the food, say a meat or a nut, but also testing for environmental toxins, natural toxins such as those that come from mold, mycotoxins. These are all food safety threats that are detected through non-microbiology testing methods through IVD diagnostics. These food safety threat specific market spaces are all defined within the report. As a response to the new regulation in the United States, there's been quite an uptick among food processors, larger companies in the food industry in adopting rapid testing methods, which are opposite of traditional microbiology, which takes a few days to get results. These new testing methods, the rapid ones, include immunodiagnostics and also molecular diagnostic methods and have seen greater growth opportunities in the United States and also some other developed markets in Europe in the past few years. A key feature of the market for the last few years has been not only the fact that uh, industry players have been introducing these new rapid testing methods, but that they've also seen more demand for them as food processors, food industry players need to adopt them in order to comply with uh, upcoming regulations. It's interesting for IVD companies, it's an applied diagnostics market and in, in contrast to say veterinary diagnostics, there's not as much industry consolidation. There's relatively fragmented. You have top three players, but they're only going to account for about a quarter of the market. Next quarter of the market, seven. After that, half the market, over a hundred companies there competing for market share. It's a lot of opportunity there, a lot of chance for further consolidation, but no one's really seized it yet. It's important to illustrate the opportunities available to the IVD industry in an applied testing market or a non-medical testing market. There's not a lot of information out there regarding diagnostic testing for food safety. There's plenty that works on food safety and food quality, total microbiology testing, but very little that, that cuts out that opportunity that is available for manufacturers and also technology suppliers of IVD products that are already active in medical space, perhaps in veterinary diagnostics or forensics, but still need to see the actual defined opportunities in the market for food safety diagnostics. The industry is in transition right now. New regulations in place, especially in the United States. Obama signed the Food Safety Modernization Act. Even though that's not in full effect yet, a lot of companies are anticipating needing to establish a science-based risk management system. Worldwide, science-based risk management systems for food safety have been adopted increasingly even in develop developing countries, but are still in a state that's, all these industries are still in a state of transitioning from, from less rigorous testing methods to needing to validate their food safety programs, their food safety management programs. And with that, when you validate it, you need to test at each point in the food manufacturing process, make sure it's safe, there's no contamination being put in. At the very end of it, you need to verify that there's no end contamination. Food safety diagnostics are the linchpin for these, these food safety uh, risk management systems.